If you want to do anything worthwhile in life, you've got to be hungry. People getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like. Jobs that are making them sick. What is it that you could love doing seven days a week that'll bring a smile to your face? People don't do what they know in life, but what they do is they operate within the context of the vision they have of themselves. Think about something that's important to you, something that gives your life a sense of value. Think about something that you'd like to have, or something you'd like to create for you or your family or for society. I want you to hold this thought in mind. Now, one of the first things I want you to do is don't worry about the inner conversation that you're going to have. Don't worry about how you're going to do it. That's going to come. You're going to develop a plan of action. You will find the way. You will become the kind of person that can attract the people, the resources, and everything you need in order to make that become reality. But I want you to be mindful of your inner conversation. That inner conversation, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason that most people take their greatness, take their ideas to the graveyard with them. The wealthiest place on the planet is not the gold mines in the various areas of the world or the diamond mines. The wealthiest place on the planet is the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, we will find inventions that we never, ever were exposed to. Ideas, dreams that never became reality. Hopes and aspirations that were never acted upon. Because most people allow that inner conversation, for whatever reason, to keep them from ever pursuing their goals. So let us begin to look at what's required in order to, to make this our decade. Why is it that most people don't ever reach their goals or live up to their true potential? One is fear. And there are only two kinds of fears that we're born with. The fear of falling and the fear of a loud sound. All other fears we learn, like the fear of failure. The next is the fear of success. That's one of the major challenges I had to deal with. I was working on a major project and after it began to grow and it was extremely successful, I panicked and I walked away from it and gave it to someone else because I didn't believe that I could handle it. The other thing that keeps most people from reaching their goals is that a lot of people become comfortable. They stop growing, they stop wanting anything, they, they become satisfied. The other thing that keeps us from reaching our goal is not feeling worthy. That's where a lot of people get stuck. Because see, when you don't feel worthy of your goal, you will begin to unconsciously engage in self-destructive behavior. like procrastinating, constantly putting things off, squandering your time, and that's what life is made of. Something else that keeps us from reaching our goal, and that is many times because we spend so much time complaining and blaming everybody.
You've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams. Yes to your unfolding future. Yes to your potential. The major key to your reaching your dream, your living up to your greatness, your making your contribution is you. They're living out of the past, out of their memory. The attitude is it can't be done because they haven't seen it. They're judging according to appearances. The people that are going to make it in the future, the people that are making it today, let me share something with you. History is being read, but it's also being written by people with imagination. I love everybody, and that's the key. You know what I'm saying? Love is the answer, and I promote love. You ain't gonna get, I don't care, you could piss me off and try to make me mad and try to make me fold. It's not happening. It's not gonna work. Meaning as I'm not gonna say nothing ignorant, nothing. I show love, and that's what it's about. It's about peace, love, unity, and it's just about great energy. You know what I'm saying? Because we have life. Forget money situations. That's like a joke to me, a money situation, because I'm gonna get it regardless. Even if tomorrow it all go tomorrow, I'm gonna get back up and get it. That's called hustling. It's called working hard. No excuses, but I'm talking about real life storms. What people think about you and the possibilities for your dream is none of your business. I'm gonna challenge you. I'm gonna challenge that, man. I'm gonna challenge myself to be greater. You just gotta stay focused, man. Man, don't give up, man. Stay focused because once they, you know, that, that's that's the day trying to finish you. But the major key. So you're making things happen in your life is you. You got to stay hungry. Step one, we got to get past just talent. All right, I'm not saying skills not important, but we got to get past talent and we got to give effort 70%, 80%, 90%. Some people are so negative, they'll walk into a dark room and begin to develop. The greats have a mentality that, that others don't have. My family members and friends call me crazy for going to seminars, spending money on books and tapes and going to seminars. When are you going to stop going? I said, when I die. The greats think differently. The, the greats see differently, right? The, the greats have a different worldview. The greats, they, they approach the game in a totally different way. When does a man or woman die? When their dreams die. When do we die? When we stop developing ourselves, expanding our minds, challenging ourselves, raising the bar on ourselves. I need, you to, I need you to think about what you're thinking about when your effort is low. The best thinking that, that I had at that point in my life, it produced this life that I have. I need some help on where Einstein was. He said the thinking that has brought me this far has created some problems that this thinking can't solve. I applaud you for investing in yourself, for coming here, flying thousands of miles, investing money in yourself. I can tell you, based upon my own experience, you have something special. You have greatness within you. What you're doing is different. You represent only 2% of the planet. 
Because if you can get this, if you can get this, you can get any success you want in life. You can have anything you want in life if you can get this. The next time you give a low effort, right? You give a 70% or 50% or 30%, I want you to think about what you're thinking about when your effort is low.